Wednesday. Look, we're going to be halfway through this series in hiring right. We've gone through resume. We've gone through application. Now we're on the desk. Remember, resume comes in. We filter through the ones that we like. We send them the application to be filled out and a link for the personality profile. I like using Intermetrics. I use Intermetrics with, uh, I use a disk plus. Um, so it comes up with a single um, index on it. Um, the index that, that I run is the is the driver index. I'm going to know, you know, if it's if they're individualistic, what their um, economic drivers are. Are they altruistic? Are they political? What are they? So I can look to see if that profile is going to fit into what I'm looking for. You know, if you're a brokerage, then you're going to want somebody who's got a high individualistic. If you're a team, you're going to want somebody with a lower individualistic because they're not as much of a team player. Now, granted, you can't use one indicator without balancing out from another. It's the same way when we talk about the DISC, D-I-S-C. I am a 99I and a 99D, so I'm bipolar, just so you know that. Um, but really what happens is I can go either way, sales, operations, sales, operations. That gives me the great balance on it. However, I'm more of an individualistic person. I would not be great on a team. So looking at my disc profile, you would know this is not a person on a team. Now, I would be a great person to hire as a manager or to own your company, um, but I would not be good as being a buyer agent on your team. So with the disc, it's not just saying you're an I or you're a D or you're an S or you're a C. There's a lot more to the intermetrics than just saying you're a D or you're an I. You've got to have counterbalancing um, personalities. And then along with the economic drivers, uh, you can tell exactly what somebody is looking for in their life, what their drive, what their passion is, how they are as a team. Are they going to be in the right seat on the bus? Look, if someone fits my culture, I'll put them on the bus if I have to create a seat. Or if I don't have the seat, they're going to my top drawer of resumes not in my computer, I won't find them later. So you have to be able to run an Intermetrics, which doesn't take much. We actually provide it for free for all of our clients. That's a shameless sales plug just for you guys to know. Um, so when what happens is we can now look at the resume, the application, and the disk. That's three pieces of the pie. And what we're going to talk about next week are the interview, the interview questions. How to be able to get the right answers that you're looking for. And then you have to decide, is it you, the Rainmaker, or is it going to be your team that does that? What we do here at Corcoran, anytime our clients hire, it actually goes to the coach and we do an interview also. So we add that other layer in there. We interview between five and 700 people a year for our clients. So we have a professional interviewer. Angela's amazing if she ever hears this video. Um, so... With those pieces, do you, do you see how we're, we're, we're adding the pieces together instead of just looking at a resume and going, hey, you look like you could be a great buyer's agent because you're on Joe Smo team. Well, there's a reason why you're not on Joe Smo team anymore. So take that under consideration. Why were they so awesome there or why did they leave there or why were they so horrible there? Now, granted, sometimes it's the team, sometimes it's the company, but a lot of times it's them. So are they right to put on your team? Just because they're on a huge producer doesn't mean it's going to be right to put them on your team or hire them in their company because they come with a lot of baggage sometimes. So hire right. Hire right the first time. We are now three steps out of five in the puzzle. So we get the resume. We get the application. We get the personality profile, which we use the Intermetrics Disc Plus through the talent genius. So we put all three of those together, and then now is we pick up the phone and we do the interview. Now is when we have them come into the office to make sure that they look presentable as an agent. All right? So we are step three through this thing. We're going to be talking about interview questions and getting this thing all wrapped up so you can hire right the first time. All right? Happy Wednesday. God bless. I'll talk to you next Wednesday.